Hey Cancerians, yes, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Cancers, please go see the full moon reading that I did for you. It was pretty freaking intense. Actually, I'll attach the link above. So, Cancerians, whoo. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, wherever cancer influences your chart. Let's get right into this reading right now, right away. Cancers, at wherever Cancerian energy influences your chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. Remember, if it don't fit, don't squeeze it. You are not the Cinderella stepsister. Just let it go. And let something that, that actually fits come in. Like make space and room for something that actually fits to come in. So let's get this done, Cancerian. Let's do this. Um, what is the energy crowning your reading today? Um, if you have not yet, remember there's always an extended reading below. There's always an extended reading that, reading that attaches that's attached below. Okay, so um, that always includes a full tarot card spread that extends this reading, but it also includes um, a romance reading. So that link is that link is in the description box. A big reading. What is your crowning energy though, Cancerian? What is your crowning energy? What is your crowning energy? A rebirth is assured, but it's in reverse. So it's almost a reluctance to move on, a, re a, luck a reluctance to transcend, a re something, something that you're still holding on to. And I'm telling you, if you're still holding on to something over this full moon, it is going to cause a tower moment to happen in your life. You can't hold on to it anymore. Or is a sense of being held back, a sense of wanting to, be, to, to fly, being ready to fly, but at the same time, you feel like you're being held back. <laughs> If you are being held back, this is divine intervention because there's something that you need to take care of that hasn't been taken care of yet. Cancerians, this is the energy of not maybe um, still wanting to hide, still wanting to stay in the dark and not wanting to spread your wings and fly. It could also be the energy of not believing in yourself, but it's usually the energy of setbacks, of something that you feel is is restraining you. Um hasn't gone right, something, something, I'll get into it. Reclaim your power. So this is definitely being held back probably by somebody else, by somebody else's mistakes or by somebody else's, um, not, not that you're blaming other people, but by, by somebody else's fault, by somebody else doing something intentional that basically ensnares you and holds you up. So this is having to deal with other people's mistakes and other people's confusions, but also... Maybe other people's even manipulations. It may not be even directly toward you. It could just be the fact that they're not doing their jobs correctly. So this is 44, the energy of solid, getting back onto solid ground. And also maybe even going onto the DL and having to do some snooping to figure out what the heck is really going on. Because this could be the energy of like a stalker energy of somebody like keeping an eye on you or something coming after you or not having revealed itself, like issues that haven't revealed themselves based basically uh like hiding hiding in hiding in the woods peeking out to look for you and maybe that's why you're having this feeling of maybe I shouldn't proceed maybe I shouldn't move forward because there is this energy of there is a danger here all right all right let's keep going sometimes life stings yeah this is this could have to do with something on the internet or something in life in general but or maybe even the world at large, something is coming that will affect you and cause pain. Um, the energy of it even being just not even horribly painful, but very irritating. Something something that is frustrating coming through this week. Um, irritation, uh, something that is like buzzing in your ear, a buzz. The, a buzz, like something that's irritating and keeps flying around you and won't, won't let you feel safe or won't let you feel um feel free it won't let you free it won't let you fly that's the that's the thing about this is an irritant that's keeping you from flying but remember let me say this to you bats eat bugs like wasps so remember that maybe staying still and not going anywhere is actually giving you the higher ground to be in a position where you 
suss this idiot, those idiots out and actually go ahead and employ whatever you have to employ to gobble them up. Take time out. Yeah, this is a protective energy. It's a defensive energy. If you've been sat out, trust in spirit because it's divine intervention. There is an energy of this won't last long. It is coming to an end. Your sort of R&R, &R, your forced R&R &R is going to be coming to an end. But it's also going to, I think, bring with it, with it the exposure of some sort of flies in the honey or some ener an energy that's been on the DL. And it may not be your energy. I feel like it's energy outside of you that you're actually going to, that maybe you being held back is going to expose all of this. I don't really, uh, transformation is beautiful. Um, this is a lead up, almost the digestion. This, this right here is almost like the digestion of the caterpillar before it becomes the, 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 the butterfly. So um, this is being in a cocoon, um, making sure that like staying, staying wrapped in a cocoon uh, stage, uh, just um, um, staying where you are for now and not being ready to, uh, to spread your wings yet, but going through this process because you are transforming and the transformation is going to lead to something absolutely extraordinary and bring you to a much higher ground. But this is those things or those obstacles, those barriers that you're going to have to get through that are getting in your way this week. And it could have to do with a lot of emotion, a lot of fear, a lot of things that you haven't dealt with that are creeping out of the shadows to confront you, make your dreams real. But this is also the spider catches the fly. So this is also an energy of a protective energy. It could be a mother, a grandmother, some sort of influence. Somebody that is manipulative in themselves. It's almost like maybe dealing with a shady character to get a needed end. Somebody that will trap this fly that keeps buzzing around you. But this is definitely almost somebody setting a trap. And I feel like it's not necessarily setting a trap for you. It could be you setting a trap for somebody else because you want to smoke them out and bring them out and you want to reveal for them, reveal them and, and expose them. Um, this, but this could be somebody setting a trap for you or, or this being a setup and that's why you're stuck. That's why you can't move because somebody wrapped you up in their web. So um, this, this is the energy, Cancerian, that could really make you feel emotionally shut down. This feeling of people being backstabbing or this feeling of um, not being able to trust or rely on people around you or feeling like you're trapped or feeling like everybody wants to tie you up and, and hold you down. There is, a, there is an energy that is building inside of you and that could be why all of this is happening to you. So that energy builds so that you will explode when you need to. Surrender now or else it's going to be like a moth to a flame so in other words what this card is telling me is you're being held back to actually protect you for a second and I don't know why we'll get into that maybe in the tarot reading um that link is below FYI the extended reading is always a link below uh, in the description box so this is surrender now give over because if you try to fly or you try to move forward like give over to the being stuck this week, Cancerian, because if you try to give over, you're going to head, head yourself right into the flame. It's almost like you want to take off. You want something to happen, but it is absolutely not happening. And there is a reason behind it. Uh, I don't know if the reason has just to do with you, but it's definitely this feeling. Nine plus three is 12. There's this three energy. It's divine intervention on your behalf interesting life is speeding up this is gemini energy so this is um this is something taking off or something that wants to take off uh life actually progressing even though you feel stuck it's not you're not stuck there's a little bit of imbalance here things just can't get themselves together right maybe things feel like they're spinning out of control or everything's moving too fast um, there is a sense of being dragged along behind everything and things getting away from you, running away from you, like you not feeling like you're in control this week. That has to do with the emotions that are coming from this full moon. Huge, huge emotional period that's going to be especially emotional for you guys, for us, because we are so connected to the moon. Think on your feet, improvise. Don't try to think ahead. Don't try to think deeply. Don't take things 
personally. This is Sagittarius energy. They can turn on a dime. There is, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius because these are two Sagittariuses right here. So this is Sagittarius energy though, which is a hard energy for you to comprehend because they let go of things so quickly and they just think of the future. But this is the energy that you have to embody. And this is the challenge that we're faced with this week. Cancerians, can we improvise? Can we think on our feet? Can we live in the moment? Because if we don't live in the moment, somebody's going to tangle us up and get us caught up. Um, this is an energy of, what, did I, what, ugh, what am I trying to say? Be here now. This is that grounding energy. Libra energy, staying still and being in the present moment. In other words, still your mind. Don't race forward. Don't rush forward. Don't push this forward. Don't try to push anything. Enjoy the sweetness and the juiciness and the deliciousness that is life right here, right now. This is, this is what's going to bring balance back into your life. It's going to bring balance back to you. Um, and it's also going to bring something beautiful back to you. Um, here is bring your ideas to life. This is a master plan. This is uh, energy uh, forcing it. This is it's alive, bringing something to life, um, wanting wanting something to happen. And and actually, this could this this week could be happening so that you focus your energy so that it hits the right target. Um, but this is all stress about something that really means a lot to you that you're working on and trying to create, but you feel like everything just keeps flying in your face and all the debris just keeps getting in your way. Time to let go. Something has been gnawing at your heart. Whatever has been gnawing at your heart, Cancerian, let it go. Don't take things personally. That's what this card is here for. The grounding energy is just shed that idea that it's happening to you because somebody's out to get you or somebody's after you. See, feeling stalked, feeling hunted, feeling, feel, it's not. This, this has to do with other people's foibles. Um, all of this bullshit has to do with other people's foibles. And even if it was done intentionally to you, um, the thought of it or the idea of it or letting it teach you to not trust people, you have to let that go because what that's going to do is hurt your growth and development in the future. Um, this is also something being exposed. This is 100% exposure of, of something that has been holding you down or keeping you back or tying you up or holding you back. Um, Cancerians, I'm going to flip this camera around to go over the cards with you. Hold on. So here we are grounding your energy, this sense of, it, it almost feels like a big contrast. It almost feels like you're being split in two this week, Cancerians, because this is a sense of be here now and think on your feet, but also let go of the past. Sever those ties with the past with feeling heartbroken or the feelings that um, somebody is after you or somebody is chasing you. But this is also, I honestly think that you're, you're taking a, a shoot, a shot right at somebody, whatever has been hurting you, whatever has been underneath the surface, um, basically undermining you, whatever has been undermining you, it's actually this energy of being able to improvise, think on your feet and not take things personally is going to allow you to shoot your shot right at whatever has been undermining you because there is definitely something here that is under undermining you that's all i can that's all i can see this is something that's irritating something that's been hidden something that's in the shadow something that's coming and stalking you and and wanting to attack you don't take it personally and i know how do you not take it personally basically basically what you do is you don't let it hit your heart you know you know that that you understand that this is somebody else's nastiness that this isn't because you're not loved or because life is always shitty for you or you're always the victim. That's what it's saying. Don't take on the victim mentality. Transform yourself and think of things differently. And even though, yes, even if somebody is seriously out to get you, the bottom line is getting into the mindset of somebody's always out to get me some is going to trap you and leave you for food. So the only thing that you can do is think on your feet, be in the present moment, realize that these people are, these people are assholes and transcend that cut through that by basically like almost like stillness. All right. I'm not making another move till I find out what's going on. 
standing your ground, I think is what essentially what you're doing because it's almost like you want to show that somebody's trying to dig the ground out from underneath your feet. So you are right here, right now. That's, that's where you have to be. Think on your feet and be in the present moment and say, I am standing my ground right here, right now. I am not going to let you make me feel like crap about myself. This is some, some bad stuff that somebody else is pulling. So I'm going to basically take a stand, but taking a stand means almost like standing still because it, it feels like things are running away from you and out of control. And that is something that you usually take to heart and it, it makes you break down. It breaks you down. Don't let it break you down. Suss it out and shoot it out and don't back down cancerians so let's look at the outcome of what's going on let's look at that basically what what's going to come of this of your basically standoff and then we'll also do your a love reading cancerians i'll see you over in the extended the link is below